And I'm Liv. And, and this, this is, is Red Street Broadcast, Broadcast News. News. The boys basketball team played in a tournament game this Monday against West Fall and won 39-38. The boys will be playing at Waverly against Portsmouth at 6-15 today. The girls basketball team wrapped up their season last Saturday against North Adams. The state powerlifting meet will be held on March 16th at Kenton High School. School musical shows will be held on February 28th and 29th. Opening night for musical is Friday, March 1st, and there are two shows on Saturday, March 2nd, and one show on Sunday, March 3rd. First, we have Spongebob Trivia with Lexi Sloan. Welcome back to Trivia Time. I'm your host, Lexi Sloan. Uh, our trivia today is Spongebob themed trivia for our upcoming Spongebob musical. I'm here with... Hey, Cyrus. Eldridge. And let the games begin. Who runs the boating school that Spongebob attends? Miss Puff. Puff. Miss Puff. Oh, what is Mr. Krabs' full name? Eugene. Eugene. Eugene Krabs. Eugene something Krabs. He has a middle initial. Eugene J. Krabs. No. Eugene. Eugene Krabs. E? <laughs> Not E. Eugene. A? No. E. No. C. C. E. F. G. H. I. J. K. L. M. D. You passed Eugene. it. Eugene. Go back. H. I. H. <laughs> Who was identified as the lone land mammal of Bikini Bottom? Sandies! That's me. I said first. What is SpongeBob's favorite sport? Jellyfishing. 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 Okay, this one is really tough. Um, one of Sandy's pets that turns into a monster that sent Bikini Bottom into a panic. It's a worm. It's a giant worm. Oh my gosh. You're right, it's a worm, but it's, it has a name. I know. It's, you're, it's right there. Think about it, it's a worm. Wormy. Wormy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. um, and this question stems from the movie, the very first Spongebob movie. Who is the royal fish that, spe that sent Spongebob and Patrick out on an impossible quest when his crown got stolen? King Neptune? King Neptune. Yes. Mm. What is the name of Spongebob's pet? Gary. Uh, what U.S. state does Sandy? Texas. Texas. I know this episode's in season one. Where did Squidward move to in the episode Squidward? I know this. It, the, the, he go, he, he, no. No. No, it's. I know what you're there. In the giant, it's like it, it's like they're all the apartments. Yes, but what's the name of the what, what's the name of the place? I know what it is. <laughs> it's some. It's something. It said Squid something. It's like. Is it? Not not Squid something, but it's something to do with Squid. Yeah, there you go. Keep on going. Tentacle. Tentacle apartments or something like that? You're, you're like, so close. Tentacle, tentacle, tentacle residents. Wait. No, no, you're so close. Establishments. No. Apartments. Uh, houses. Tentacle. Bill. Tentacle community. <laughs> Avenue. Tentacle. A. A. Tentacle A. Avenue. A. A. Apartments. No. 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 A. And what, what, what? Tentacle. A. It, it says A, like the sound is A. A. Address? A. Acres. Acres. Oh, Tentacle yes. Acres. Now we have Zane and Brant playing against each other in basketball. <laughs> basketball team and their guilty pleasure songs. I'm here with varsity basketball player Jace Johnson and I'm going to ask him what his favorite guilty pleasure song is. Uh, Snooze by SZA. I'm here with varsity basketball player Gavin Blanton and I'm going to ask him what his favorite guilty pleasure song is. Uh, probably Vampires by Olivia Rodriguez. <laughs> I was smart, but you made me so nice. I'm here with varsity basketball player Noah Ross, and I'm gonna ask him what his favorite guilty pleasure song is. 
uh, probably American Boy by Kanye West and Stell. I'm here with varsity basketball player Bo Henry. I'm going to ask him what his favorite guilty pleasure song is. Uh, fireworks by Katy Perry. <laughs> Baby, you're a firework. Come on, show up. I'm here with varsity basketball player Mason Thacker, and I'll be asking his favorite guilty pleasure song. I have to say it's uh, Taylor Swift's Shake It Off. I'm here with varsity basketball player Jace Ritchie, and I'll be asking him his favorite guilty pleasure song. Two days into college by Jimmy Carter. I'm two days into college and I'm three lectures behind. There's this guy. Okay, I'm here with varsity basketball player Brent McGuire. What's your guilty pleasure song? Probably Deli by Ice Spice. <laughs> Do it money. I get a lot. I get a lot. Take a spot. If you ain't cooking, then I'm here with varsity basketball player Luke Gallion. What's your guilty pleasure song? Uh, probably Superstar by Lupe Fiasco. A superstar that have no fear. I'm here with varsity basketball player Declan Davis. What's your guilty pleasure song? Deli by Ice Spice. Okay. Do it money. I get a lot. I get a lot. Take a spot. If you ain't cooking, then I'm here with varsity basketball player Trevin Shanks. What's your guilty pleasure song? Angora Hills. I don't know who's Doja Cat. Yeah, Doja Cat. Next up is rap battles with some of your favorite teachers. Senora thinks comp books are the best. Must be her 80s training from Northwest. Nobody likes Duolingo. Don't get me started on bingo. Take a hint, we hate it, you gringo. Her name's not Rachel and she can't mamba. That's why Katie says, yo tanga, una bamba. Even her dog's confused, barks in Espanol. She won't walk him, poor little so. Everybody asking him, where's the cocoa? She must be too busy on Monopoly Go. She's gone, 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 cause senora's gone loco. Online dictionary can't be used. She can't even tell. She or her students can't read the menu at Taco Bell. That's all I got. You're gonna respect that right here. Yeet, yeet, skirt, skirt, yeet, yeet, skirt, skirt, roll up, pop that, drop that, roll that. Hey, 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 hey. You never loved my song. But I needed you all. Family, and you thought this was just teachers' rap battles. Jay Will's gonna be roasting others. Hit it, Mr. Johnson! There's a student named Stan Lee, comma, Jake. He thinks he's a real deal, but he's just a fake. If he went to class, we would all be shocked. Ooh, Jake and Stan Lee, you just got rocked. We back with Lil High Bloody. <laughs> and this is the rebuttal. Halloween is your kryptonite. This ain't even a real fight. I got that dog of me. Now I know you're scared. Good thing I'm not chasing your receding hair. Oh, we all know you're going to trash a musical, but look at you looking like it's straight out of Susan Gold. Oh! You so old, you wrote your rap with some ink and a feather. You're so tall and lanky. You're the first to know the weather. Oh! I'm Jacob Stanley, and I'm here with Havletty. Carino, watch out. Hey there, Carino, looking like a skinny burrito. Coming from sea land, thinking you're a baller. You're really just taller. Wait until I hit you with this crossover. You're really gonna feel smaller. Mm. Here we go. Hey. You teach American government. We all know that's lame. Such an outfit repeater wearing the same four sneakers. Mm. You used to shoot hoops. Now you're only playing old man's game. Oh. Oh. Sneezing really loud. Hitting way too hard. Super messy room. Don't know how to use a broom. You ain't ready for me because here comes a boom. Oh. 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 I hope this is getting under your skin. 
it could work like Botox. You're wearing those lame socks. Breaking up fights like you think you're Superman. You're really just a sidekick answering to the big man. Oh! Lastly, we have interviews with Coach Miller and a few of his players. I'm here with Coach Miller. And Coach, I want to congratulate you again on your 100th career coaching win. What was said in that final timeout before Declan's game winner uh, last Friday? More importantly, going into the fourth time, we were down seven. And uh, the exact words were, we've been here before. Uh, I think we are down seven against Southeastern at home. Uh, and we were able to pull that one out as well by five. Uh, we knew that we wanted to catch it on the run. Uh, headed to his dominant hand, so we wanted to be sure that we got him moving, moving toward the basket on the run. Uh, we put one of our best shooters in that right-hand corner, which is Brendan Wire. Uh, we put one of our best finishers on the left side block, which is Bo Henry, and then just told Deck to be sure he makes the right play. And so if they help off the three, you have to pitch out three. If they help off the boat, you have to dump down for a left. Uh, and if they don't help at all, we've got two, we've got Deck on the I think it was executed very well. I think he, I think he made the right decision. Kids, kids, I mean, they, they have all the credit. Uh, Brent could have easily been uh, less patient in the spacing spots. Uh, so those guys spaced perfectly. Right? They had choices that they had to make. Less behind to make some choices. What are your expectations, and what do you expect out of your guys tomorrow against Portsmouth? Oh, we can't wait, Kyle. Uh, guys, we can't wait for tomorrow. Anytime we have a chance to play for the championship of any type, uh, it's exciting. Uh, so uh, we we just want to make everything incredibly difficult for them. Uh, from an execution standpoint, uh, from a best player standpoint, we'll make things very difficult for number 34, Barry, DeAndre Barry, with the defensive glass. Uh, and we want to be sure that we get the correct shots for us. So we talk to our kids, our, our guys, about uh, gold medal shots, which are hooks at the rim, and then silver medal shots, which are you know, paint touch threes. Uh, they're going to pressure us, they're going to try to trap us. So it's all about us making sure we get the shots that we want to get, not what they want us to take. All right, I'm here with senior Brent McGuire and Brent. Obviously, being the lone senior of the basketball team this year, you've had to, you know, take a big step up and be the leader. What does that feel like? Uh, it feels great. Got a great group of young guys, great sophomores, great juniors. No, no guy I'd rather be leading or playing beside, really. You know, game against Portsmouth, big game. Uh, what do you expect from you, and what do you expect from your guys? Uh, we just go out there and compete, play with all we got. You know, we've been, we've been practicing really hard. We've been practicing really hard. Just go out and compete against them, give us a chance at the end. All right, I'm here with Declan Davis. And Declan, obviously you had a very huge play against Westfall uh, a few days ago. What were your thoughts, you know, looking away from that ball and seeing it go in as the time expired? Uh, well, if I'm being honest, I really wasn't thinking anything. I saw it go in and I just took off running. Yeah, you're right, it was a big shot, but now we got to go on to Friday and tomorrow and focus on winning that What are your thoughts and expectations for tomorrow's game? Uh, it's going to be a good game. Uh, I think both teams are going to play really, really good tomorrow. Uh, we just have to keep our heads and keep our eyes on the prize and everything. Bye. <laughs>